Hi guys, today's video is going to be an empties. I think I missed it last month. I've been doing them kind of every two months for a while and I'm sure I was supposed to have one last month and I didn't. Um, but I have a collection of things to share with you now and I'm going to kick it off with shampoo and conditioner because I've always got many of these and I've actually not got as many this time. Um, shampoo and conditioner that I used up this month, the Damage Remedy from Aveda. Aveda? Aveda. Aveda? That's what I think it is. Um, I got these in the box from Jane, British beauty blogger with... What company does she do the boxes with? I can't remember. She does, she does a box. Oh my God, that's gonna drive me nuts. Maybe I'll remember by the end of the video. She does these boxes with this company and she did like an Origins one, which I've also got something in from as well. Um, and it's basically like a, a sampling of um, one particular brand. It's great, she hasn't done one for a while, but rest assured, if she ever does one again, you will be the first to know. I am so excited about the boxes that Jane puts out because they're always amazing value. Um, this is one of the ones that she did this year. I waited until my hair extensions were out to use this again, and honestly, or use this at all, um, honestly, it was not really fit for me. These are restructuring products, and by the time my extensions were out, my hair had been cut, Almost all of the hair that you see now is uncolored and untouched by bleach. It's my biggest problem at the moment is keeping it clean because I mean I've developed a serious hair touching problem as well um, with me having short hair and constantly touching my hair. I don't know if it's stressed or what it is but I'm always touching my hair and so by the end of the day if I wash it in the morning by the end of the day it feels greasy. It's a nightmare. So products like this are not good products for me anymore because they add a layer of something that is already not making my hair feel and look clean. So this is probably great if you have slightly damaged hair, but my hair is pretty good now. So not necessarily that the products are bad, but they just didn't work for me. Um, my favourite, favourite shampoo is finally out and I'm going to buy one immediately. This is the uh, John Frieda Beach Blonde Cool Dip Purifying Shampoo. I'm currently using a different one, I think. I've got something from it. I think it might be the Nutrifier from L'Oreal. That's okay. A similar thing, Nutrifier. I don't know, it, I would imagine that's like a, that sounds like a purify, nutrify, I don't know. Uh, but that seems to be okay. But this was definitely my favourite. If you struggle with hair that gets greasy really quickly, I would highly recommend you give this a go because it seriously is awesome. It makes my hair feel the cleanest it can and look and feel cleaner for as long as possible. Um, no more hair and stuff products I don't think, but I do have another bath product through these all the time and I am not even sure if they do anything. This is the West Lab Dead Sea Salt, um, well it's just like a sea salt, they do different versions, I can't be completely convinced that they don't, they're not all exactly the same thing marketed at different things. Like some of them say they're soothing for your skin, some of them say they help aching muscles, but they all say 100% pure with nothing added. And they all say that they're dead sea salt. So what's different between the, all the different ones? I don't really know. And honestly, I don't spend enough time, I've said this about lush bath bombs in the past, I feel like I do not spend enough time in the bath for it to be effective. I think you have to stay stay in the bath for like an hour and a half or something, at least half an hour. And I'm just not, if I'm in the bath, because I get this for, because I've got a really bad back, um, and it's all the top section of my, I have to sit like this, that's why. It's all the top section of my back um, that's really bad and it's very difficult to loosen it up by yourself. I've been going to physio and it's just really sore. So I get this and in theory I should lay because it's the top section of my back. My phone. Um, I should, sorry. I should lay back so that my shoulders are in the water. But I am usually shaving my legs and you know, wash myself doing all that. And so most of the time I'm sitting in the bath, it's not gonna even be effective. I have to lay in the bath and the chances of me actually laying back in the bath Slim to none. I'm, I do not have, even if I take something in and watch TV, oh, drive me nuts. I can't tell you of a time in normal life where I will sit and watch TV, really actively watching TV, I'll always be doing something else. And so the like, I don't know, there's something in me, uh, there's a word that I can't grasp right now, probably like attention deficit, but that thing in me cannot only be in the bath watching TV, there's something else that I should be doing. and. I can't. So I buy this, probably once a month I buy this, use it all up, and then I buy it again. I don't know if it's doing anything. I don't know, please someone tell me if it's been amazing for you, and maybe it might push me to lay in the bath for half an hour. Um, this was the cleanser that I used up last month, really liked this. 
I mentioned in a video recently that I'm using the Nivea one at the moment, which is a very basic cleanser. Really good that it's available from supermarkets. This is from Asda and I really like it, would highly recommend it, but it's slightly on the more expensive side and you can't just pick it up from all supermarkets, Asda specific and spa. This is the hot cloth polish. When I mentioned that, oh, water was going down my, I thought I was getting like weird pins and needles. I had like sharp pains in my um, wrist and I now realise just water from that. It felt like burning. Um, I mentioned in the video that it was irritating to me that I can't just go out and buy a cleanser if I run out. And a couple of people said, oh, it's not that difficult to go to Boots or Superdrug. It kind of is. Boots and Superdrug, I have to go into town to go and get those things. And if you're in the middle of your week, it's not always convenient to go into town. You just want to pick it up from a local shop. And it's a real pain that you, there's not that many cleansers available that most of us would want to use. So yeah, I understand the way they were coming from, but it's a bit like if you had to go to Boots or Superdrug to get your toothpaste, it would feel like a bit of an inconvenience. Um, and I feel like cleanser is a basic enough thing that there should be many more available to us. So that's a good one from Asda. There is also only a one that I quite like at the moment. Um, Garnier Pure Active Wash Scrub and Mask. This is, <laughs> I've used all of this up and I've also used another mask here because my skin has been horrible recently. Um, I'm fairly certain it is stressed because it's been all around here. So even really, I've got one there next to my mouth, there, a couple down here, a couple down here. I've got ones that have almost gone away and then come back. I even got one in my eye. What is that all about? I'm not, I don't typically struggle with my skin, but recently it has been horrible. So I've been using all of the different products that I can to try and um, calm down the breakouts. And this has been one of them. It's okay. It's not something that I would brush out and buy again. Um, it's not particularly effective, but I used it up since I was trying to, trying to get rid of all the spots. Um, I'm using something from Kiehl's at the moment that is really effective, but to the point of, like if you've got sensitive skin, it's not for you. To the point of, I, I put a big dollop on all the different blemishes that I had overnight and the next day, each of the areas that I'd had that on had a patch of redness. Um, it's, it's definitely something with a super, super active ingredient, so it's very effective. But if you've got like those deep down underneath, almost cystic um, breakouts, it's, it doesn't really touch those. And that's kind of what I'm working with right now. Fun. Uh, Origins by All Greens Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask. I liked this. I don't know if I would buy it again. I have tried one from Sephora recently that I know I mentioned in a Sephora haul and I showed you it in action. It was like a bubbly mask, which was really cool because it was different and unusual. Um, but I just tried this one and this is not bubbly. It doesn't foam up to that degree, but it does foam a little bit. You put it on your wet skin and it, you can feel it expand and then it evaporates. This feels like it does something really nice to my skin. The Sephora one, I'm starting to think, actually just feels cool because it's a gimmick. I'm not convinced that the Sephora one actually makes my skin feel any better afterwards, apart from the fact that it's clean. Whereas this was very, very nice. I would consider repurchasing this, but it wouldn't be kind of a run out and rebuy. Uh, this D, oh my God, I found this in a drawer and realized I, I don't think I mentioned it in an empties, but I used this quite a few months ago. This is the DHC deep cleansing oil. And this is one of those products that people have raved and raved and raved about. And I am here to tell you, this did not work for me. I really, really liked it. It made my skin feel really clean. Halfway through this, I was thinking, I'm gonna buy a full size of this, this is awesome. And then I realized, because I was getting breakouts, I thought it was really weird, you know, where are these breakouts coming from? And it was this, it was an oil cleanser. And that's another issue with the cleansers when I was talking about it previously, um, and not being able to get them very easily. You can get lots of oils. Oils have become a bit of a thing, like mic micellar water became a trend and so lots of brands bought out that. Then a cleansing oil became a trend, so lots of brands have jumped on that bandwagon. We haven't quite got there with the hot cloth cleansers and the creamy things that you can use. Um, but oils are something that now I'm really, really cautious of because this really, really broke me out. And I'm talking not just the thing where it gets rid of everything and it all comes to the same, draws out all your impurities and then you get the breakout and it goes away. It was constant. I refuse to believe there were that many impurities um, because I've used a lot of different cleansers and nothing has ever had this effect. So it, it just didn't work for me. I tried it over a prolonged period and it definitely, um, I loved it at first and then I realized it was causing major breakouts. So not for me and quite an expensive one, I believe, for it not to work. I've got another cleanser in here. 
I've been cleanser crazy recently. Um, this was a really nice one. The Ultimelt from Soap and Glory. This, really, really nice. Would recommend, would repurchase. Um, just very, very fresh. If I compared this to the Nivea, for example, um, the Nivea's got a bit more of a residue, a bit more of a moisturising agent, whereas this feels very, very fresh and a little bit... Um, it's hard to say because they're both cream consistency, but if if it was possible, I would say this was like... It's not cream gel, but it's more like a water-based cream, whereas the other one would be like an oil-based cream. Experts, please back me up here. Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, and then the last things I used up with these... I've got another one of these somewhere as well. I got some star skin masks from Look Fantastic when they did a sale a couple of months ago, and... Um, I finally used them up in the past couple of weeks. I'm not convinced. I didn't really see anything amazing about these. The WEN masks, I feel totally worth your money. They feel amazing. My skin feels amazing after using them. They're expensive, but they were really, really nice. These were expensive. I think these were supposed to be like $7.50 each, $8.50 each. And I got them on sale, but still so expensive. The WEN ones are a similar price, but they actually made me feel really, really nice. Skin felt really, really good. Um, these, if you leave them on for too long, they start to dry and stick to your face. Because they, they weren't for me. I won't be repurchasing the Star Skin ones, but I'm, tr I'm glad that I tried them because lots of people recommended them and um, now I have like a point of reference when I'm talking about different face masks, but these weren't for me. Uh, one tip is to, because it says in the bottom here, it's infused with 30 ml of serum. So when you consider that, okay, it's expensive, but it's got 30 ml of serum in it, you're not using it all up and getting the mask, uh, or using the mask rather. And so you can actually squeeze all of the serum out of it and use it as a serum for a couple of nights after using the mask and you get a bit more of your money's worth. But the serum itself, I didn't feel like did anything special for my skin, so nah. Um, and those two, by the way, I got close up and after party, and I think the other one that I tried was balancing. I didn't feel like any of them did anything. So that's it. That is it for this month's, slash this quarter's maybe, empties. Um, I wanted to do this because it, I need to get rid of some stuff out of my house and I'm not holding on to rubbish for any longer. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. It was useful. I particularly still really like empties because it is when you've used an entire product and you've got a, a better opinion or a better well-rounded review of something when you've really used all of it. Um, so I know this is kind of, I was meant, I saw something on Twitter the other day that was, uh, I can't remember what it was, it was a tag that was using your non-dominant hand to do your makeup and someone said they were really scraping the bottom of the barrel creativity wise for YouTube. I thought, we do these videos on a regular basis like empties and like hauls and all those things that really don't involve any creativity whatsoever. I wonder if it's just time to uh, pack it all up and start something completely new. But I still really like these, I still find use in this kind of thing. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you do too. And I will see you guys in my next video.